Hi, I'm Dr. Maya Palmer, and today I will be walking you through using the MK Community's mobile phone application. If you'd like to find out more about the project and its aims, please take a look at both the introduction and goals and benefits videos that appear in this series, which you can find in the link below. This film is to primarily demonstrate the app in use. In addition to this how-to tutorial, you'll have access to a written guide, as well as regular troubleshooting sessions, where you can talk to Dr. Alessio Antonini and myself directly about any queries, concerns, or problems. So, once you've registered with a project with Woofton Community Council, and your account has been activated, you will download the app. Then from there, let me show you how the app will look. Now, you'll be able to see the MK Communities app. This is the homepage, i.e. the screen you will see when you sign in using your username and password. You'll see at the top, next to the welcome, there are two icons. Let's briefly look at these. First is the little body symbol. If you click, you'll see that this takes you to your profile, which details information about yourself. If we go back and click on the cog, we are taking settings. Here you will find further information on terms of use, privacy policies, and the opportunity to log out of the app. You can browse these at your leisure. Return to the home page by clicking on it. At the top, you will see that today I have no notifications. However, underneath is unassigned tasks. And here there are a couple of outstanding tasks which haven't been taken up by anyone. Let's have a browse of them. Here we have a task by Steve McNay, which looks like something that I might be able to help with. Let's click in by tapping on the card. There's more information here and under notes, you can see that he's requesting for some help with a weekly shop. I think this is something that I might be able to do. So I'm going to accept it by clicking the accept button in the bottom right hand corner. Then the app asks me when I can carry out the task and I can enter the date and time. Let's say, Friday at 1 p.m. I'm going to press accept now. We can see it has now disappeared from unassigned tasks. If I scroll down, you will see it has now been added to my list of tasks under your tasks. I'm going to click into it again to check the details. I can now complete it once I've done it or I can withdraw it if I no longer want to or can undertake the task. In this case, I'm going to click the X in the top because I can still complete it, but I haven't yet completed it. Under your tasks on the home page, you'll see a range of other listings, which are tasks that have been accepted before. Let's now have a look at how to add a task if you need help with something. At the bottom of the screen in the center, you will see a plus button. Click this. We want to add a task, so we will click this from the two options presented. You now see a screen with different categories of help. I need some help with gardening. My lawn needs a mow. So we'll choose the house garden category and then the garden category and it's grass care I'm after. So I click on this and then you'll see I'm presented with a card to fill out. So let's do this together. The first thing we see is some tags. I'm not going to add any of these because they aren't relevant to my needs. But for example, if I did need weeding, I could click weeding as a tag. I'm going to take this off because I need my grass mowing. I can specify a time and I do need to do this because I would like my grass mode when I'm home next Tuesday between 9.30 and 5.30. So I click specify time, I find the right date and I will change the time to what suits my needs. I can then add some more details, including a reminder, a schedule or notes. I'll start with notes. To tell them, whoever's looking at the card, that it's my lawn that needs mowing. And I can also use my schedule to suggest that I would like it done on a weekly basis. Once I've added the details and I'm happy, I can then click add task at the bottom of the card. We can see that the task has been created successfully. I'm returned to the home page and you will see that grass care has been added to 
my tasks at the bottom of your tasks. Let's have a little bit look at this by clicking into it. So if I click into it, here I have the opportunity to reschedule if you have a look at the bottom. If I say, for example, can no longer do next Tuesday, or I can withdraw it if for any reason I don't want someone to come and help me with that particular task. Alternatively, once I've had a look at the details here, I can just click the top right X to keep everything the same and exit back to the home page. Let's look at a couple of other functionalities. By clicking this button, I can hide my own tasks. Let's scroll up a little bit so we can see all of my tasks. I click the hide own task button and grass care disappears. Let me untick it and grass care will appear. I can also view the tasks on my home page on a calendar or as a list. I can toggle between the two like this. The green dot next to the listing tells me that a task is in progress, i.e. that it has been accepted, and the grey dot next to a task tells me that it's unassigned. Finally, if you have completed a task, you can mark it as such. Let's say here I have already helped Steve out. So I go into the re relevant task by clicking it. And I can mark the task as completed using the button at the bottom. It asks me to confirm that I've done the task. I have, so I click yes. And you will see that the task disappears from my list. This has been a how-to tutorial on the MK Communities app. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any queries or questions, we have regular digital walk-ins with Alessia and myself. And you're welcome to attend these with further queries or questions. We look forward to seeing you.